Hello everyone and welcome back to another epic chess game from the history of chess from 1970 at the times when Bobby Fischer when he turned the god mode on when Bobby Fischer was incredible when he was defeating his opponents one after another he was defeating his opposition like flies so at this time uh, this is from 1970 and Bobby Fischer was simply incredible. In this chess game, his opponent is Tigran Petrosian, who is playing with the black pieces. And this is from the chess tournament, Soviet Union against rest of the world. Bobby Fischer was in the rest of the world team and he was playing in the second board against Tigran Petrosian. And in the first board, there was Boris Spassky against Bent Larsen. So they thought Bent Larsen was the better player than Bobby Fischer, so he was playing in the first board. But then Bobby Fischer proved that he was much, much better than Bent Larsen, with defeating Larsen 6-0 in the candidates. So let's check out what happened in this chess game. So Bobby Fischer, who has the white pieces, starts the game with pushing the pawn and his opponent Iron Tigran, who is known as the Iron Man of chess. As he was a very solid defensive player, he played the Karakan defense, exchanging the pawns, developing the bishop, developing the knight, c3, knight to f6, bishop to g4, and we simply have the exchange variation of the Karakan defense, developing the queen and targeting the b-pawn, attacking the queen and also defending, checking the king, blocking, queen to c2, e6, knight to f3, queen to b6, and now Fischer, Bobby Fischer, is pushing the pawn. And now he is not allowing bishop to b5. Rook to c8, targeting the queen, lining the rook with the queen. We have knight from b to d2, and knight goes back and maybe knight to b4 is on the cards. So you can capture the knight because then this is going to be losing the queen. So we have queen to b1, not allowing knight to b4. Knight to h5, attacking the bishop. And now pushing the pawn, h6 by Tigran Petrosian, controlling on g5 and also defending on h7. Because in this position, Fischer could actually capture on h7. There is no trapping the bishop. If pushing the pawn, bishop can go back and capture. If pawn takes bishop, then queen takes pawn check and winning the knight. Attacking the piece, so knight to e5, knight to f6. Well, in this position, actually capturing the knight is impossible because then capturing back. The queen is under attack and there is also one more threat. Can you see that threat? Well, black has to play bishop to c5. But then, a5, black has to defend the bishop. But now g4 and this is trapping the knight. Where is the knight going? Maybe in this position, bishop takes bishop. Pawn takes bishop. Queen takes pawn and then capturing the knight. Queen takes pawn, check. And you can defend with the bishop with going back. And white is a piece up, but black has lots of pawns, so that is the compensation for black, but that is also losing. So, Tigran Petrosian, who is known as a very solid defensive player indeed, he is playing a passive defensive style against Fischer. On the other hand, Fischer is more active. So, Fischer played h3. Bishop to d6 and Bobby Fischer castled and this is actually one of the most interesting moments of this chess game. Tigran Petrosian didn't castle and he played king to f8. Why not castle? Why not castling? After the game they asked Petrosian why he didn't castle and he said that he was afraid because of this Fisbury attack after castling. But also actually if castling for black, so if castling for black, rook to e1 and knight from d to f3 is playable for white and white is much better in this position. And indeed f4 was also a dangerous looking move and if opening the f file, actually black is going to suffer. But of course not castling was a very bad move for Petrosian. So he played king to f8, which was a very bad move, which was incorrect, of course. 
So in this position after king to f8, we have f4 by Bobby Fischer. So Petrosian felt that something's wrong with his position, something's not right. He felt uncomfortable, it's hard to explain why he did this. But he felt that something's, something's definitely off with his position. So he panicked or maybe he felt that against Bobby Fischer, his, his position is very weak. So he played this move and we have bishop to e8, bishop to f2, queen to c7, bishop to h4, attacking the knight, knight goes back and now pushing the pawn, f5 by Fischer, simply attacking from the f-file. Pushing the pawn and he wants to open the file. So Petrosian is exchanging and then Bobby Fischer bang. He opened the F file. Bishop to F6. Fischer captured the pawn, forking the pieces. Bishop takes on F7, knight to F3, exchanging. And now in this position, Bobby Fischer is basically threatening to play knight to G6, forking the king and the rook. The bishop is pinned. So we have knight to F6 blocking. But Bobby Fischer is still playing knight to g6, forking the king and the rook. So bishop takes on g6, bishop takes bishop, Fischer is happy for trading his knight for the bishop, and now he has the light square bishop. The king is in the center, so this is not looking good for Petrosian. King to e7, queen to f5, and Petrosian is bringing his king to the safety. He thought this is safer, and now his knight is not pinned. Rook from a to e1, queen to c5, checking the king, king to h1, and rook to f8, lining the rook with the queen. Queen to e5 by Bobby Fischer. Rook to c7, defending on e7, so if deflecting the queen, Fischer was going to attack on f7, on e7, so more defense on e7. We have b5 by Bobby Fischer, hoping to deflect the queen. And we have queen to c6. Why not capturing the pawn? If capturing the pawn, then queen to d6. Deflecting to queen, check. And also attacking the rook. And this is all over. For Petrosian, check. Losing the chess game. So, black has to be careful. We have b4, queen to c6. And then c4 by Fischer. He is advancing. D takes on c4. Of course in this position you can't capture back with the queen because of the same threat. Queen to d6, check, and that is losing. So d takes on c4, bishop to f5 by Bobby Fischer. Invading the diagonal and there is no escape for the king. So more defense, but now checking the king and after thinking hard, Tigran Petrosian, the Iron Man of chess. He played rook from f to d7. Why not knight to d7? Then rook from f to e1. The knight is pinned and also threatening checkmate. And how to defend? The computer engine says this move is the only defense. But this is losing the rook and losing the chess game. And as you can see this is losing. So in this position. Maybe rook to f8 is also playable for the defense, but now check, it is not playable, of course. <laughs> check, mate. And black is getting crushed. As you can see, black is getting destroyed. So in the real chess game, blocking with the rook, not with the knight. Because if blocking with the knight, that is actually losing. Fisher captured the rook. Rook takes on d7, checking the king. King to e7, blocking with the queen. Blocking with the queen was the better move, but then exchanging everything. Uh, I check out the moves with the engine. So rook takes rook, check. Knight takes rook. Queen to d6. Also threatening checkmate with rook to f8. So that was the threat. Petrosian is going back. Rook from d to e1. Checking the king. And Petrosian resigned. What a crushing chess game by Bobby Fischer. He did that to Tigran Petrosian. One of the greatest chess players of all times. One of the most solid, solid defensive chess players of all times. Okay, so the possible continuation. You can't move the king. This is the only move for the king. 
But then queen to eight, check, mate. There is no defense. If knight to e6, then rook to f4, and how to defend? The knight is pinned. Rook to d4, checking the king, and now what? Also attacking the rook. So, queen is glue everything together, defending everything, but this is a hopeless position, check. Knight is pinned, check. Queen to e6, queen takes queen, check. Mate, what a game by Bobby Fischer. He did this to Tigran Petrosian. And a year later, he proved that he is much better than Bent Larsen, who was playing in the first board. He defeated Bent Larsen 6 to 0. What a game by Bobby Fischer. He destroyed his opponent. And thank you for watching. New Chess Games is on the way. Take care and. Bye-bye.